and welcome to Art at Home with Miss Beth. And today we are going to make some face masks out of 100% cotton. So I have two rectangles that are about nine by seven inches. And before I start, I wanted to make sure and thank my friend Sarah who helped me with this. She gave me a a lot of fabric that I can make some for our school district. She gave us some, we've got some extra wide double fold bias tape, which we'll use for the straps of this. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna take the long edge, the nine, nine inch edge, we're gonna sew a seam down and we put our pretty sides together. So you can see the brighter sections are together. And I'm going to sew, and this is about a fourth of an inch. Whoa, sorry. Make sure I don't go too fast because my camera likes to shake. And I would like to avoid that at all cost. Okay, so I have one side done. I'm gonna trim that edge. And get the second side. So now we do the opposite. And with the fabrics, 100% cotton is what they're recommending. 100% cotton is washable. And I already, I pre-washed these because I was worried about shrinkage. I didn't want things to shrink after the fact. So they're newly washed. I've got my edges and then I'm gonna flip it inside out. Bam, Woohoo! Okay, typically at this point, I would like to take an iron and I usually would iron that down. I already have one that I did before. Woo, just like this. Okay, so with this, I think I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see it better on the blue, maybe it's on the green side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna add these little folds like this for the mask. That way it gives it room that it's gonna be able to pop out for to fit the face. So you can pin them like that or you can just start feeding them through and that's typically what I like to do. So. I just folded one back, maybe, let me try it again, there we go, and then I'm going to start, and this again is just like a fourth of an inch seam that I'm making, okay, there's one, two, Let's get that third one in and I'll show you what we got. I'm just going straight down on that side. There we go. Okay, so I've got one, two, three. We're gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna try to match it up as best I can. And once again, if you need to pin them, you surely can pin them. But I, this is my, I don't know, I'm close to 50 probably now on the masks. I decided I was going to make some for my family after I started making them for the school district because I really think this is something that we we are going to need. And why not make them pretty? Make them bright and lovely and happy. Because we need all the happiness we can get. Let's get that one down and I will show you. And I just went straight down again. Aha. Okay, one, two, let's get that one, three. There they are. And sometimes if you need to put an iron on it again so it lays better. I don't like these little edges. When we use our um, bias tape, we're gonna have to tuck them in and I wanna make sure that I, I don't see any of that. I'm getting it close, but not too close. Okay. And just a word of forewarning, a lot of the fabrics and things at Walmart are pretty picked over at this point. I think this is probably a last of the double, extra wide double fold. So, and when you buy these, they you can cut them into, they're into threes. So here we have this. I'm gonna cut it in a angle. And then, let's get that like so. Okay, so with our bias, I want to find the center. 
So if I hold it like that, I know my center's here. I'm gonna lay that down. And the bias opens up like so. And I'm gonna lay, and it doesn't matter if I do the blue or the green side, because you're gonna be able to wear this with both colors. Just depends on what you're wearing that day, how you wanna match or not match. Then I'm gonna take some pens. Um, the video that that I saw, they used these little clamps, which were pretty cool too, but I kinda like my pink pens. I'm gonna go with the pink. And then, like so. And then when we turn it to the back, you can see I've tucked it all in nicely. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. When I did this before, when I was making um, a, a large amount at a time, I I didn't do I didn't do my my masks one at a time. I did it like a factory worker, which was really super fun and cool. And I got a lot done at a time, so I'm tucking that in again, like so. I'm gonna take my pins, pin it down. And they can be, this could be ironed when it's all finished. Just so it looks pretty. Okay. Then I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna sew all, I'm gonna sew this so it's all closed and then I'll sew it to here so that it keeps my mask together. And I will try and be careful to not have my camera shake so much. The reason we're choosing these, this was the video talked about healthcare workers liking this type of a mask better. The 100% cotton would be something that they could throw in the machine and they could wash it up nicely. Um, also, they would wear these over the other protective mask that the health healthcare providers are wearing. And instead of just wasting, throwing those away, oops, sorry, uh, I've been doing this a lot. <laughs> instead of throwing the other mask away, they've already protected that one and then they could just wash this one up and then cover up their other mask again with a fresh cotton mask. And the other thing too, they talked about do we use the ties? Do we use, I mean, there's a lot of elastic that people are talking about using as well. And the elastic, I think, can hurt ears is what people have said. So I look here, I've got that all in, and that's all in, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this, I will, this will need sewing. I'm gonna show you one that I already have done. Oh, look, it's a pink one, beautiful. So with this, aha, sewed on, sewed on. And this is how it's gonna be worn. It'll puff up like this, bam. And this will tie around the back and this one will tie around the back so that your face is fully covered. You can still talk, you can still breathe and you're super, super safe and you're absolutely looking good in this wonderful pattern. So uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me making some fun masks today. So go out and grab some fabric and have fun with this and have a lovely day. Thanks for joining me. Bye everyone.